Annabelle creation, a prequel of a prequel. It feels like we might be going the wrong direction. And if you want my quick thoughts on the original Annabelle movie, here's a clip from three years ago. Don't get scared now. Go back to hell where you belong, demon! Before things get dark and creepy and I turn off the lights, I wanted to let you know that this video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you need a domain, a website, or online store, check out Squarespace. They have award-winning designer templates and unique domain names. So if you're a designer or a YouTuber or just need a quality website and you want to make magic happen, start your free trial today at squarespace.com and to save 10% off your first purchase, enter in promo code squarespace.com slash flickpick to save 10% off your first purchase. If you need a website and want to save some money, check out the link down below in the description box. And this way, I don't have to review movies in a cardboard box behind a movie theater. So thanks for listening, guys. Annabelle Creation is about the creation of Annabelle. Yeah. So if you want more info, just read the synopsis on the screen right now. Or don't. I don't care. Now, this movie is a horror film. And let's answer the biggest question. Is it scary? Yes, there are a few genuinely scary scenes that go down in this movie. The kind of scenes that make the little goosebumps crawl up your arm. It feels like little spiders are crawling all over you. You know what I'm talking about, or is that just me? And oddly enough, both scenes that I found terrifying in this film, they both involve bed sheets. Yeah, just thinking about the few scenes in this movie that I really enjoyed, those scenes that put me on the edge of my seat and creep me out, it just, if the lights were to go out in this room right now, thinking about those things, I would probably squeal like a little girl. <coughs> now for me, when it comes to horror films, I find the subtle things the most terrifying. In my opinion, less is always more in a horror flick. For example, whenever you have an eerie environment with old furniture and shadows, and then you have a figure in the background emerging from the shadows, slowly going towards the character or the camera, that's the kind of things that give me nightmares at night because you can slowly take it in. You're stuck there and you're forced to see this pure evil coming at you and there's nothing you can do about it. I love that kind of stuff in a horror film. And scenes like that where you can truly savor that horrific flavor will always go further than jump scares with loud sound effects. Ah! And in Annabelle Creation, you get both of those things. There are slow, scary moments in this movie, and the movie also does contain a lot of jump scares with loud sounds to help enhance those. And now, if you're still watching, now comes the part of the video where I completely just lose my shit and I rant and complain for the next 20 to 30 seconds about theater etiquette and how horror films bring out the unwashed masses and the worst theater goers of society and it brings them all into one place where they just can't shut the f*** up. <sighs> okay, here we go. So when it comes to horror films, there's nothing wrong with people squealing and screaming and jumping in their seats. That adds to the atmosphere. That helps me get immersed into this movie. I like when the girls beside me jump back when something scary happens because when they do it, it masks that I'm doing it too and I get to pretend like I'm still a tough guy. And that's all just part of going to see a horror film with a live theater audience. I like that kind of stuff. But when you have people overreacting and talking to the characters on the screen as if they can hear you saying, oh, don't do that, you're stupid. You have to question society. And then you also have to go up to that person and say, they're stupid, but yet you're talking to a screen expecting them to interact back with you. Now here, dump out your popcorn and put the bucket on your head for the remainder of the film. And that's one of the biggest problems with going to see horror films in the theater. Not everyone, but there's always a group of people in these movies that ruin it for everyone else. They have no respect, they have no etiquette, they have no common courtesy or decency as a human being to shut up for two hours and enjoy the movie. I just remember there was one point in Annabelle Creation where I was thinking to myself, I would give anything to be watching this movie by myself at home in my theater room. I'm sorry I had to get off topic, but I felt like I had to get that off my chest. I just, I feel like the movie theater is a very cathartic experience for me. It's where I go to immerse myself and forget about society for a couple hours. And when people ruin that, uh, it just, it really lets me down. Now this movie takes place in this large house out in the middle of nowhere, like many horror films do. And this house is owned by two people, a husband and a wife. 
that lost their daughter 12 years ago. And the main actor who plays the husband in this film, for the first five minutes of the film, I thought it was Bill Pullman, but it's not. The two look identical, or at least to me they do. And the movie also stars a handful of young actresses who play orphans living in this house, and you only really get to know three of them throughout the film because the rest of the orphan girls are in the background, they're out of focus half the movie, so you don't really care about them. But the best thing is none of these young actresses were over the top or obnoxious or did anything annoying. They all did a pretty good job. They all felt like real kids or teenagers, but there are definitely a few scenes throughout this film where some creepy things go down to the point where if you were one of these little girls, you would start screaming uncontrollably for days on end or break a window, jump out of the house, run to the highway screaming and never come back. But none of that ever happens. They typically just give up, go to sleep and pretend like it never happens until it happens again and then they, they do the same thing. The main young actress in this film does have a handicap. She essentially has a Forrest Gump leg brace and that character feature made her much more dynamic and interesting and it especially allowed for some very unique and creative scary scenes. And as far as the look of the movie goes and the visual style, I thought it was a very well directed film. It was nice to look at. It felt like some of the scary scenes, you could actually tell what was going on. There wasn't shaky cam. There wasn't super up close shots. The camera allows you to see the scenery and get immersed into what you're watching. And as far as the first act of the movie goes, I would say it's a little bit slow. It drags on at a few points and it feels like the pacing could have picked up quicker than it did to actually get into the good stuff. This movie is rated R. And halfway through this film, I was thinking to myself, why is this movie rated R? There's not really any blood or guts or gore. But during the third act of this movie, it earns its R rating by giving you those blood, guts, and gore. But the thing is, it's very subtle and it's not over the top, which I like. And also throughout this film, there are some unintentional comedic scenes and maybe it's the way that it was directed or filmed or maybe acted that made it unintentionally funny, but there's, there's a few of them. <laughs> now, here are my final flicking thoughts on Annabelle creation. This movie is way better than the first Annabelle film. This actually feels like a real movie. I would recommend going to see this movie. Now, is this movie anything that you haven't seen before? No, it's pretty standard. And when I say the movie's standard, most of the things that you've seen in this movie have been done in other movies, but in this film, they do a very good job at recreating it. But I still enjoyed the movie, minus the crowd I had to watch it with, so I'm going to give Annabelle creation <laughs> A B minus. It's a decent movie. Check it out. And now here's my question to you and let me know down below. What did you think about Annabelle creation or what is the worst movie theater experience you've ever had? Yeah, let me know that down below as well. And once again, I wanted to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this movie review. If you need an awesome website or want 24 hour customer service, because if you're like me and you're doing things at three o'clock in the morning and you don't know what's happening, you can call somebody. That's always nice. Once again, check out squarespace.com and earn promo code squarespace.com slash flickpick to save 10% off your first purchase. Save some money. All links down below. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. That way I can see you next time.